Okay, I'm located at Egrens Creek Preserve. Here's things about salt marshes. Salt marshes are tidal zones where land meets marine waters. Periodically flooded with salt water, these coastal ecosystems are dominated by black needle rash, smooth cord grass, and other non blah blah blah. It's just about the land, nothing real spectacular. I always like to know about what birds of prey there are. And it says there's some birds like the clapper rail, marsh wren, and seaside sparrow are exclusive residents and boring birds of salt marshes. I actually added those words into that sentence, by the way. And then we have wildlife viewing tips. One of those don't really matter to me, but there it is. I'm not really going to bother reading them. So, oh, I dropped my, my um, tripod carrying case. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and show you the area where I was at before. You can actually see it from here. I'm right near Atlantic Avenue. So that would be the north side of Egan's Creek Preserve. Okay. And so I'm literally looking right over here. And you will notice there's some trees, although I just can't see it very well because... Oh, and then look up there. There's also a pole there, which looks like it could be an osprey nest. Right there. See it? You can see it from right there. And then there's the bare branch where I saw the ibises on, which end up didn't get my fish. And then there's some more bare branches over here, although obviously no birds are on them. And then, of course, I have my fish, which is right here. And just to show you a little something, oh, the thing that I kind of broke something there. But anyways, it's right in here. This whole tapalia right here. And nothing really to note here. But, except when you look on the top. Mm. Hang on. Well, anyways, I've had this for over two months now. But it's not given off any kind of, like, rotten scent. At least not a scent that's too rotten. But I keep messing up because... Uh, because I just keep breaking the, the plastic. It's really not plastic. It's really like uh, plaster. I don't know what that's called. But it's that casing that the fish is in that was like falling apart. I've already had like a couple pieces fall apart. Probably due to the scales of the fish most likely. Well, it's still fresh. I've kept three ice packs in there. I used to only keep one, but since, uh, well, since I've been leaving the fish out a little bit longer, because I've been sometimes coming longer, I've put three ice packs in there. All right, so I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. I'm gonna put this camera here, and you're actually gonna watch me start hiking, okay? Well, here I go.